This is one of my two favourite shops, Unitop. You can pretty much get anything you want, very cheap in Unitop, very cheap. What you can't get in Unitop, you can probably get in Hong. And this, my friends, is Hong. So what you can't get in Unitop, you'll get in Hong. What you can't get in Hong, you can probably get in Unitop. But if all fails in these two stores, you can go to 101. I'll point you in the di right direction. What I want to do is I've been asked... Oh, sorry, 101's over the bridge there. Find this monument in Naga and you'll know where 101 is. It's a pretty big store. I think it's about three-storey. But this is what we've come to have a look at today. People are sending me messages, some people, not a massive amount, and saying, Chris, can you show us the top floor where you keep saying prices are cheaper for fruit and veg? So that's what I'm going to do. That's what this video is about. This is Naga City People's Mall. It was built in 1776. No, joke long. I don't know when it was built. But I'm going to give you a, a run round of the top floor. And if this lady's there, she's a lovely lady. I was so uh, impressed I didn't get the foreigners taxed. I let her keep the change. <laughs> Every time I go, I let her keep the change. I don't bother because uh, I really appreciate it. You can see they're selling all kinds of stuff. Pineapples. They pretty much keep the prices same all the way along here. There, there isn't really any competition. Now, these pay more rent because they're in a prime position. The second floor pays a little less rent and the third floor pays even less rent. Now I'm not going to tell you that there's a massive difference in the prices, there's not, but it, there's slight, it's slightly cheaper to go upstairs and if you're buying a lot of stuff it can save you a little bit of money. Now the second floor is mainly closed, not mainly closed, the prices are closed, uh, candy uh, stalls, meat, fish, all kinds of stuff. This place is just full of different things, it's, it's unbelievable. Anyway, we'll go up to the top floor and we'll have a look. Now, if I could read that. Whoop. Let's give him some money. There you go, thank you. Now they give him 500 pesos then. That would have made me cry. <coughs> It's funny, you know. I'm gonna do a, a video with this guy. I'm not gonna, you know, preempt it just in case I can't do it, but he asked me how long I'd been here. And I said, over six years. He says, what, and you can't speak to Tagalog? I says, I can, sp I understand and can speak a few words, but yeah, that's about it. So this is the top floor. You can, pretty much get everything here vegetable wise and fruit wise it's changed a little bit from a few years ago I mean there didn't there wasn't these food stalls here and stuff god I'm out of breath I mean 20 23 pesos a kilo for them they're cooking bananas, they're not eating bananas. Hello! So look at it. I'm not keen, I'm not keen on the tomatoes, as, or as Americans call them, tomatoes. So you've got authorities here, I don't know, checking up on the stalls. But look at it. Bananas, you've got to, even up here, you've got to shop around a little bit because depending on the store, depends on obviously the price per kilo. Everything's per kilo, put it that way. And I've actually been cheeky. I mean, I've not followed through on it, but I've said, uh, 
what's the last price <laughs> and they'll knock you a few pesos off I mean it's it's great it's really great <clears throat> so this is where I come when I want to get uh, any veg garlic that kind of thing now this is my favorite stall and my favorite lady here she's really she's lovely and she's honest that's the main thing so if you come to the top floor look find her out and come in uh, support her see they're on about they want me to speak to Galog she she said it as well <laughs> why don't you speak to Galog but you see I mean look I'm not making excuses I can't retain it I just can't retain the information and obviously people here speak Bicol they don't speak Tagalog so it's not like I can practice it much or listen to it you know so I know a mixture hello I know a mixture of Tagalog and Bicol you know words like Contilang which means a little bit this is the stall I'd come for the pineapples I think it was maybe two or three years ago I did a video here where I tried to cut the pineapple and of course I made a very bad job so you can see how big this top floor is it's massive you can get most most things you want now there's a place I come here but I can never remember how to get to it and uh, I come here for my lemons the sell by the kilo now depending on the time of year lemons come down to about 10 pesos each and then they get expensive and it's cheaper to buy by the kilo I think it's down here I'll have a look but you can see how busy this place gets see meat this is different this is the floor you come for your eggs as well because you'll normally get your eggs a lot cheaper here because there's egg stores there's one there look there's about uh, half a dozen of them here but look at the amount of veg you know I scratch my head a bit there must be a lot of this stuff goes off and that's going to eat into the profit isn't it oh, I can't remember where this stall is but this is where the local uh, Sari Sari stores come to get the food oh my god dried fish swiftly moving on eggs look they all come here for their eggs and different stuff. I think it's down here, it is. This store is one of my favorites on the top floor. You can see the lemons. There, look. And what I've always done is when I've bought anything, I've just let them put it in the bag. And then you get it home and you find they've not given you the best of uh, whatever it is you were buying so <laughs> they're pretty amazed when I start rummaging through things and making sure that what I'm putting in the bags the ones I want see there's some of that um, lettuce not looking good now I realize what they do you know with these apples at least I know it's the apples I'm not sure if they do it with anything else but they put them in the freezer they don't sell them they put them in the freezer overnight there was a woman and a stall and she was selling honey organic honey because that's that's all I'll buy I'm not buy anything from a, a SM or anywhere like that because you don't know what's in it it's not pure organic honey this is where we get the garlic and well pretty much everything I mean look at it it's absolutely busting there's a guy that uh, does just coconuts 
the brown ones as well as the green ones and he cuts the brown ones open and then just grates the coconut and puts it in a bag and uh, they make all kinds of stuff out of the coconuts so this is where we actually have been so I walk this way I brought my umbrella because it's been raining for the past couple of days again I couldn't get out to do a video so I brought a brolly because uh, sod's law I'll get uh, caught up in a thunderstorm because it when it comes down it comes down I mean uh, yesterday I was about to go out and it was lovely and sunny I kid you not and then by the time I'd got sorted and was going to walk out the door the heavens opened up but as you can see it's a bit black over Bill's mother's I think that's about it guys before I go I want to thank everybody the rain video got me loads and loads of comments I was I was very taken back and so grateful that people were uh, trying to help me out I really appreciate it and I thank you all very much so until next time guys smash that like button or thumbs down button it doesn't matter to all the uh, trolls it's uh, interaction and that's what uh, YouTube looks for make sure that the notification bells hit make sure you subscribe if you're not uh, subscribe I really appreciate it and share our videos it's a very big deal guys if you share the videos and we'll see you on the next one bye